Hi, boys and girls. I'm Miss Cortez, and today I will be reading the story I Pledge Allegiance by Pat Mora and Libby Martinez, illustrated by Patrice Barton. On Monday, when I get to school, my teacher, Mrs. Adams, asks, Did your great aunt pass her test? Yes, I say. She is very smart. I tell my class all about my great aunt. She is 80 years old, and my family calls her Lobo which means wolf in Spanish. She calls us her lobitos, her little wolves. Lobo studied very hard. She learned all about America. That's wonderful, says Mrs. Adams. Libby's great aunt passed her citizenship test. My teacher claps. My class and I clap too. On Friday, mom and I will go with my great aunt to a special place. She will say the Pledge of Allegiance and she will become a citizen of the United States. She is going to practice all week so she won't make any mistakes. We're going to practice the Pledge of Allegiance this week too, says Mrs. Adams. On Thursday, Libby can lead us in saying the pledge, so she will be ready for her great aunt's special ceremony on Friday. Will you do that, Libby? Yes, I say. I like being in front of the class. I hope I can remember all of the words. Mrs. Adams says, Long ago, in 1892, a man named Francis Bellamy wrote the Pledge of Allegiance. He hoped that girls and boys would promise to be good citizens. Now, let's all read the pledge together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. My teacher points to one of the words. Indivisible, she says. It's a big word. It means there are 50 states, but we are all one country. Indivisible. After school, my teacher gives my great aunt a big congratulations hug. On the way home, I tell Lobo that my class is practicing the pledge all week. On Thursday, I will have to say it in front of everyone, I say. I am a little nervous. Let's practice together, she says, and squeezes my hand. At home, Lobo and I help mom make enchiladas. Mom says, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, a special day. Ready to practice, Lobo? I ask after dinner. Lobo reads the pledge, and then she and I say it together for mom and my kids and Gloria my gatita, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Lobo and I practice again on Tuesday night. When we say the pledge at school, we stand very straight like a tree and I tell her, we put our right hand over our hearts. My teacher says the pledge of allegiance is special. It's a promise you make with your heart. I like the words, liberty and justice for all, says Lobo. We are promising to be fair to everyone. This country is like one big family, una familia, that works together to take care of people who need our help. That is what America did for me. On Wednesday night, Lobo and I say the pledge in front of my stuffed animals. They are very good students. I like being the teacher. Tomorrow, I will say the pledge in front of the whole class. Time for bed, says mom. I asked Lobo to tuck me in and tell me a story. Un cuento. I like Lobo stories. Why do you want to be a citizen, I ask. Mi querida, I was born in Mexico and I went to school there, but the United States has many has been my home for many years. I am proud to be from Mexico and to speak Spanish and English. Many people are proud of places where they were born or where they grew up. But long ago, a long time ago, when I was a young girl, my father wanted a safer place for us to grow up and we came to the United States. The American flag, red, white, and blue wrapped itself around me to protect me. 
Lobo tucks my blanket around me. The flag made me feel like this, she says, safe and warm. Lobo smiles and kisses my forehead. You will do just fine tomorrow, she says. On Thursday, Mrs. Adams says, Libby, would you like to lead our class in saying the pledge? I walk to the front of the room. Everyone is looking at me. I think of Lobo's smile. I stand up very straight and put my hand over my heart. I take a deep breath. Together we say, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. At home, I tell my mom and Lobo that I remembered all the words. Lobo and I practice one more time. Mom claps and hugs us. On Friday, Lobo wears a new blue dress. Mom, Lobo, and I hold hands when we walk into a big room. There are so many people. A woman in a black robe stands at the front of the room. She looks like a judge on TV. We all sit down. Everyone is very quiet. The judge says, today is a happy day. She asks all the new citizens to stand. Mom whispers that I can stand with Lobo. The judge says, Please place your right hand over your heart. Lobo and I stand very straight like trees. We put our hand over our hearts. We smile. Then we both say, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Author's note. Our aunt Ignacia Delgado was a very special lady, a young woman during the Mexican Revolution of 1910. She came to El Paso, Texas with her sisters and father, who had been a circuit judge in northern Mexico. She never married and often lived with our family. When she'd arrived in the evening after work, she'd call out, ¿Dónde están mis lobitos? Where are my little wolves? We all began calling her Lobo and not Tia, which means aunt in Spanish. Lobo learned English when she arrived in the United States. She liked books and read encyclopedias, newspapers, and prayer books in Spanish and English. Lobo always wore dresses. She was very devout, very proper. Lobo became a U.S. citizen in her late 70s and did give the wonderful answer about why she became a citizen that we refer to in the book. Although she had studied hard for her citizenship test, the judge only asked her one question. Ms. Delgado, who was the president of the United States? Lobo was everything a citizen should be. Hardworking, honest, brave, respectful, responsible. And even in her 90s, Lobo was fun. She read to us and played games with us. We all remember her smile. This book is for our first collaboration in an honor to share the story of our intelligent and loving aunts, Pat Mora and Libby Martinez. Thank you, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed today's story.